I, I, why don't you just use freeze-dried yeast? Well, for me, it starts and ends with wild yeast, floating it on the air and piggyback from the vineyard. When it hits the primordial ooze of a fermenter, the beauty of Darwinian chaos ensues. Early, maybe a cute and cuddly yeast strain is first to ascend and exploit the sugar, until they are selected out by, say, alcohol above 2%. And a harder minority rises to the majority, predatorily exploiting the foibles of the first, that is, until perhaps 5% alcohol, or maybe heat deals a death card. And so it goes, populations rising and falling, flavor nuance left by each, and complexity stacking, the monster building, until there's no sugar left to eat. The truth of these ever ascending yeast strains on the wine is that the flavors stack up. The complexity stamp of the many trumps the monoculture note of the few. That complexity in the end is why we choose native. I don't know, it just seems like it'd be a lot easier if you just... And once again, the yeast has spoken.